In this next video, we're going to learn about scratch, zoom and wipe images. Let's open a new document. It's for iPad, so we choose digital publishing, iPad, portrait. First thing we want to do is place an image. Drag it to where we want it. And back in the plugin on our object panel, we will choose type scratch. Let's add another image into there so that now we have a cover image and a base image. Save our document. Scratch. And let's build that to our simulator directory. It will now appear in the list from preview. So we've got scratch vertical tablet. You can see here, here's our image. And what happens when the user drags their finger over that image is the top image will be scratched away to reveal the bottom image. Back in the plugin, you've got a couple of options for this. You can choose the number of pixels that are scratched away by the user. So because we've got quite a large image here, let's up that a little bit to 50. You can choose from the drop down. You can type your own number in here. You can use the nudge buttons however you'd like. And you've also got the option of whether you want it to have hard edges or feathered edges here. So now we've got 50. Let's do a build. Go back to the simulator here. And that's a bit easier to, for the user to drag away there. Scratch to the bottom image. Back in the plugin, you don't actually have to have two images if you don't want to. You could have just a single image that you scratch away to reveal whatever is in the on the page underneath. So let's bin that image off there. We just got the single image here. Let's bring that down. And you can see, drag away to the page underneath. Now in this case, what you can do, let's say we had a text box behind here. Let's fill that in with some placeholder text. And in our layers panel, we'll just bump that to the behind the image. Build that. And as we drag away here, you'll see you can see the text behind the image there. So what you're seeing is whatever you've placed on the page behind the image. Now then, if we choose our text box, bring that to the front again for a minute so we can see it. Let's just select all of our text. Let's bump the font up a little bit, the font size. And you can see with the little red plus here, it's showing you that it can't display all of the text in the space it's been given. So back on our object panel, with the text box selected, we can say, hey, well, I'd quite like this text to scroll. Tick the scroll box. Let's put the text behind that image again. And we'll run a build, see what that gives us. And as we drag away here, you can see that is revealing our text behind with the larger font size. And now if the user clicks on the text area where it's already been scratched away, they can now scroll their text. So what's happening here is Folio is detecting that you have a transparent area of the image here because it's been scratched away and passing that information, the tap information on to the text box behind it so that the user can then drag the text. And then back on this image, that's what takes the that's what takes the user's tap and scratches away as opposed to scrolling the text. That is scratch images. We'll move on from this to wipe images. So back in here, we'll select our cover, add the base back in, and change the type to wipe. Now we get various different options here. The most common is probably right. So let's set it onto that. Let's do a build. And what you'll see here is in response to the user dragging across there, the top image wipes away to reveal the bottom image in response to the user dragging. They can tap and it'll animate to that position. 
that's kind of a nice effect if you have, say, you want to demonstrate a, an image filter before and after, anything like that, some kind of special effects on a film. It's useful in those sorts of scenarios. Back in the plugin, let's look at the other options. If you want, you can supply a file to use as a divider in between the two images. So if you wanted some kind of line to, to just delineate the two images, you can add that in there. You can say whether it should fade or have a straight line on that edge. And you can set an initial position that the user would first see it on. So if you set it to 50%, you would see it start to start like this. And then the user can then drag to and fro from that point. And you can change the direction here if you wanted to. So if you wanted it to go from the bottom, set that to a build. And it drags up from the bottom. Top would drag down from the top, left in from the left hand side. That is wipe images. We're now going to have a look at zoom images. So we'll place a new image up from here. Let's choose this one. Change its type to zoom and do a build. Now if you want to simulate a user zooming with their fingers within the iOS simulator, you hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and it, you can see it gives you these two pretend finger touch points that allows you to simulate the user pinching and stretching the zoom out there. So you click and drag with Alt held down and it'll zoom in and out of that image. So you can see what Folio has given you there is an image that the user can zoom by the standard pinch method. Here you can say enable double tap to zoom. You can set a minimum zoom amount that they can go to and a maximum zoom amount that they can go to. So five times the actual image size. And you can choose whether or not it displays scroll bars and if so, what color they should be, black or white. So if we put double tap on, do a build. You can just see here, double tap to zoom on the image and zoom out again. So that is scratch, zoom and wipe. In the next tutorial, we'll be covering off the last three options, which are carousel, toggle and paint.